Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is Media True Nerd, and welcome back to Fallout 4 Survival Mode here in Far Harbour, in particular in this nice little safe room that, uh, appropriately enough, is in lovely condition, all kind of very pre war -y, pristine sinks and showers and toilets and fluffy towels, good old fluffy towels, because of course, yes indeed, this room has not been touched for centuries since this woman here tried to steal some nuclear launch codes after the bombs had already fallen, and indeed, she torched him to death, but he got a shot in on her as well, so they both ended up dead. So no one really won that one. So yes, today, I need to head over to the Vim Pop Factory in order to actually figure out what's going on there, because there's a secret medical facility as well as a pump regulator I need to get my hands on. But there's something else we need to do as well, which is just down to the south of me, there is the Cranberry Island Bog that people have mentioned to me is worth having a look at. And I didn't come here during No Guns, but there's like three big islands here, including that looks like... There's probably docks right there. So there's some form of habitation here. I don't know what this is, so let's go explore that, shall we? So back outside the front door of the hotel, and... Good work there, me. Uh, straight into a flipping master. Let's not get his attention if we can avoid it. I don't think we need to do more fighting here than we have to. There's... Ooh! Hello! A nice legendary to pick off down there. I'll take you very, very nicely. There we are. He's dead. And then just go over. He had a dog with him, didn't he? That's only a glowing hound. There you go. That goes down as well. So we've got some nice legendary gear somewhere around there. One master who... Did you hear that? That was both silent shots, so... Hopefully not. Nope, he doesn't know. He heard something, but he's not sure what it was. Good. In which case, let's just loop round the long way to get to that legendary Primus and Dog. I just want the legendary gear first up, and... I'm gonna struggle to get up to him now, aren't I? Well done, me. One quick Tesla shot to the head will finish you off, melt you into dust, and level me up to, I believe, level 68 as well. Beautiful. And that clears out this whole area. You had... Oh. I was a little bit over-worried about you. You had flipping pipe weaponry. I was expecting better from you by now. There's something over there, but don't need to worry about that. I'll just head down here instead. And uh, what have you got on you, my good man? Ooh. Okay. Interesting. Well, actually... The lucky stuff's lost its shine a little bit, I think. The lucky stuff isn't... It isn't as good as it used to be. But I'll take a bit of the ammo and I'll take, yeah... Lucky automatic radium rifle. That's... Yeah, there's better things to have than lucky. I mean, lucky's really good in the early game when you're absolutely depending on criticals to do any damage at all. But now I can get guns that can have just really high base damage. The criticals aren't as important as they used to be. And the lucky guns are falling behind because I'd rather have something that just gives them more stopping power full stop. Down into the ocean. We can now just skirt around the rest of those super mutants. He might see me, but he'll never be able to do much to me. And yeah, we've got a cluster of three... Oh, I kind of just want to pick him off. When he's right there. That's a really good spot to just pick that guy off, but never mind. Uh, yeah, there's a cluster of three islands floating around here, including, yeah, burning shipwreck. Are you firing at me, by the way? No, that's just the waves. I thought that was muted gunfire there, but no, that's just the waves. Yeah, we had uh, a boat collision here by the looks of things, or boats hitting some rocks or something more than anything else. Let's have a little quick looksy here. See if there's anything in any of these boats. I doubt it, to be honest, but there might be. Ooh, that's quite pretty at night, by the way. That's lovely. So right now, I'm, yeah, just to the north of the second island over here. And I can definitely see there's some form of habitation. Possibly anglers over there. Could just be lureweed. Huntress Island. Okay, let's just find a nice quiet spot to come up onto the island here. Because if we're lucky... Oh, no. Quiet spots to come up onto the island, please. Thank you. Okay, we're currently hidden. Now, I didn't really want to do this at night, because it's a little bit dark, but it'll have to do. Right. Hunter's Island. Haven't been here before. Something else is living here, unsurprisingly. Vats doesn't have sight of it right now. So, whatever's here... Nothing much. How big is this place, by the way? Let's see if I can just figure this out. The thing to remember is in the base game, that would be quite big. But this DLC is not huge anyway, so this is not a huge island at all. I'm kind of hoping it's just ghouls. Ghouls are... No. 
Now it's not as something a little bit scarier than that, and I'm, to be honest, desperately lacking in everything. Right, uh, bear over there. Let's go for one critical, and I don't have a critical to hand. Luckily, he didn't hear that anyway, so that's good. Oh, not having criticals. Right, I need to just grind up some criticals against that bear. Let's just sneak up behind it, get into a good position, nail it a bit. There we go, that's a good shot. Now just empty it into the torso forever. Right, critical, this is a lucky gun. I don't even want to be doing that much damage with this thing. This thing I basically just want to get my criticals up with. So now I've got all my criticals and he's mysteriously... I think he was going to sleep and then he didn't bother not going to sleep again. So that's good. Right, so now, now I can get a couple of shots in on the... This gun does not have the hitting power I need it to, does it? Right, just keep doing a couple of manual shots. Why aren't you attacking me? Oh, I think I've got him in the leg. Well, that's just bloody lucky. That's good. I was wondering why he hadn't killed me there already. That'd be why, because I think I got a lucky shot in the leg, even though I was entirely uh, hitting the torso. I need to target the legs more. The legs, especially when you're dealing with tanky enemies, especially these guys. It's just so, so damn useful. Actually, I could go over to Tesla. This is a small area. So Tesla might actually be a decent, yeah, bet for this, because uh, all VAT shots with Tesla are automatically fully charged. Even interestingly, if the gun couldn't actually have had time to... Ooh, there's a hoe there. Don't see that very often. Uh, even if, yeah, the gun doesn't really have had time to have charged since the last shot, it's just deemed to have charged anyway, which is nice. Wouldn't mind a bed round here, by the way. There might be one in one of these houses, at least. Nothing round here, but yeah, one very nasty bear. Right, hang on. I think I saw a second over there. One rabbit. Oh, that's the other one's just a level 16 stunted. Well, that's fine. There you go. That's him dead. And then his friend doesn't know where I am and goes down in two. Yeah, fine. So this is when it says Huntress's Island, it's really Bear Island. But I shall be the Huntress, albeit the male Huntress on this particular occasion. What is that over there? Okay, am I looking at the Cranberry Island bog right now? Yes, I am. There's something big and industrial on that. Okay. That is not what I was expecting to see at all. All right, this is intriguing. What do we have in... Ah! Okay, so on this little side island. Horribly murdered skeleton. A machete in the hands of a mannequin. Good, good. Knight of the Living Mannequins all over again. Just like way, way back in Concord, in fact. There's just a great big... Swampy area here with more rad stags around. And then one more house at the end of Huntress Island. But there's a few wolves also on the move, interestingly. Though, should be easy enough to pick you off. Ah, we've got a legendary in here I did not realise. Well, that's going to be a little bit more tricky, but that's fine. What level are you? Oh, you'll regenerate quick enough. That's fine. One more critical. We'll almost finish you. Then one more shot to get most of the critical meter back. We won't even take much of a loss this way. Lovely. Legendary glowing wolf goes down. That'll be a free... Ouch! Apparently there's more wolves than I was expecting. Oh, you're just... You're not legendary or glowing or anything. You picked a bad fight. Though apparently there's several of you. And, um, oh dear. When I say you picked a bad fight, I don't actually have any ammo right now. So I need to be at least a little bit careful here. Never mind, you're just basic level 20 ferals. That doesn't work. Remember, wolves, packs. There's this thing about wolves and packs, I think. It's a well-known thing. And what I think is the last one goes down. Final glowing wolf. Though admittedly, it looks more like kind of a jackal hyena thing, but whatever. So, loads of wolf meat, if that's what I want. I've literally burnt through the entirety of my 10mm supplies. And... Defiant, agitated, improved, automatic... <laughs> I'm guessing that's an automatic laser musket, right? No! No, it's not. Oh, sorry. I thought that was the... Uh, I forgot Defiant is actually in effect. Yes. Final shot in the magazine deals twice the normal damage. I've never been convinced that's that good, to be honest. Uh-oh. 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 Just spotted the legendary Venomous Angler. Gonna back away from you now. Actually, back away or don't back away. Okay, let's at least get a more sensible shot over here. Don't get too close to him. I wouldn't mind taking him out, to be honest. Where are you, my good man? Yeah, one crit should do for him by the looks of it. Critical. And lovely. Legendary Venomous goes down in one strike. All quiet. So I'm guessing that means he was on his own. And that should be, hopefully, Huntress Island all cleared out. We've had a good number of legendaries here. Very, very welcome. And looks like he was taking on... Was that a crippling... Crippling pool cue? Yay, 50% more limb damage than I will gladly take. And also, weirdly, a workbench down here. Alright, fine. 
And yeah, it looks like he was taking on a Devolve Radstag, or he just killed one for fun, who knows, one or the other. Okay, there's a tiny island down this way that I'm looking at right now, but all that's got on is, yeah, Hunter and, ooh, a Legendary Hunter, but yeah, not a desperately high level at all. How far can I get a... I cannot get a grenade that far, unfortunately. Just want to get a little bit closer to you guys, because I feel like, actually, I might be able to do a decent job just landing a grenade right on top of these two. If I can do that, that should be able to kill you pretty easily, in fact. Right, let's just swim just the tiniest... Oh, careful, careful, careful. Yep, here we go. Yeah, this has got to be close enough for a grenade right on top of you, which should hopefully finish you off. Right, grenade. And follow it with a second one, just in case. And did you both... I think you both died anyway. Yeah, I think you're already both dead. Fine. Right, over to Tiny Crappy Crab Island. And one of you was just legendary. Hello, where did your corpse go? Cavalier Switchblade. Oh, I'm just having a good day for crappy, crappy legendaries. Right, back over to Wolf Manor, and that's close by to where I started, so I assume that is now the last house here. This actually one still has a, uh, a second floor, which is quite promising, because that might mean... Oh, this guy died comfy. That's probably the best you could hope for in the Fallout Apocalypse. Uh, yeah, died comfy on the sofa. Upstairs, and darn it. Broken down bed, nothing major. And interestingly, the washer and dryer... We're in the same room upstairs as the bed, rather than downstairs in the kitchen area. Little odd, but okay. I'm going to start getting more and more tired, and I can't see a bed anywhere around these parts. Now, that's the entirety of Huntress Island cleared out. There's another island up here, albeit just a small one, that's part of this little trio. If I head over here, I should be able to get a good look at it, because I think this one might have nothing of interest on it. If I don't see anything... I might just leave it be. Uh, I don't see any signs of houses, uh, even wildlife, to be honest. There's one, that's a log. That's not that exciting. And over there is... Yeah, nothing. Fine, maybe we'll pass that one on the way back, just check it from the other side. But I don't think there's anything interesting there. Instead, back to over here, where we had, yeah, a clear sight of some form of big industrial thing over on the Cranberry Island. Okay, here we are on kind of the northeast coast of Cranberry Island, nearby to the big industrial thing. The bog itself is in this direction. I don't see... Ooh. I don't see much. Oh, is that just a flipping devolved uh, radstag over there that sees me? Or No, it's a feral wolf. It's the feral wolf the other side. Well, that's fine. You can get my critical up, my good man. You're only a basic level 20 or whatever. Right, bear in mind, wherever you see one wolf, there's probably 27 more. And by... Ooh, circuit breaker. I almost certainly shouldn't. And by the way, you're going to go down now. So long, wolf. Oh, you're a rabid wolf. Well, that's fine. You can die. Any more? Radstag doe over there. Don't worry about that. Yeah, more wolves yet, obviously. The thing is... Whenever you press a circuit breaker, generally everything goes wrong immediately afterwards. Because when you push the circuit breaker on Spectacle Island, then a massive queen shows up. And there is a convenient body of water right here where a massive queen could show up. So I don't kind of want to push that circuit breaker just yet till I've found a bed I can rest in. And a legendary glowing wolf over there. I go for it. We should be able to... Ah, oh, not quite. Not quite enough. Right, okay, just toss a grenade over there. Get some damage in. There, that did at least some good work. Couple of them over there. Toss another grenade in. That should do some more work there. Lovely. Ooh, 302 XP. I think I got both of them there. Very nice, though. I'm still in caution. Definitely one more legendary round here. I think I just nailed that legendary with the grenade. Which can be unfortunate, because that means I don't know where the bloody... Oh, that could be it. The advantage of legendary glowings. You can find them. Steadfast gorse. Okay, well, I'll take it just for the flipping ammo, if nothing else. But, 50 damage resistance while aiming. No, that's not as good. That just isn't as good. You can't defend that. Right, up we go. Nice and cautious round here. More wolves. I'm going to say nice and cautious. Don't be that cautious around wolves. Wolves are fine and squishy. They're even less worrying than ghouls, to be honest. And here we are, Cranberry Island Docks. 
Okay. Multiple buildings. This could be a good place to find a bed. I don't even care if it's just a sleeping bag, to be honest. I just want somewhere to drop a save before I flipping dare hit that circuit breaker. Hello. This place has definitely been touched by human hands since the apocalypse. Someone... Oh, a mattress. Perfect. So, someone lived here, and it was a trapper. But a dead one. What killed you? Oh, 15. Oh, my goodness. I've got 36 shots for this thing. Oh, yes. That is just the thing right there. Right, good. We can get a save in. I'm feeling much better about life. I'm still going to be tired from lack of sleep. There's nothing I can do about that because the mattress is only three hours. That's not enough to get my tiredness down anyway. But okay, good. I feel better now. Whatever happens now, I don't need my progress on Huntress Island and all the terrible, terrible legendary weapons I've picked up since. And hello. Upstairs in the warehouse, Eliza's map of home. Okay. Ah. Okay. This is draw a map of home sweet home. And she has put, presumably, points where you have to, yeah, trigger the power one by one. So start off in the northeast where I've already kind of passed by. So that one first. Then the power, like, seems to flow through the town. Then it flows down into what I'm guessing is Cranbrow and Bog itself. And then down to the port. But what's the point? Okay. All right, fine. You were right, people in the comments who said this area was worth exploring. I'm now sufficiently intrigued. This was clearly previously a manufacturing area. There's all sorts of, yeah, conveyor belts and whatnot here. But, okay, let's just explore this place first. Make sure it's safe before we head and hit that circuit breaker. Because I'm still not ruling out a bloody queen showing up, all right? I basically expect a queen to show up. Right, so back to this thing over here. We have got ourselves one, ooh, a circuit board in need of repair. Okay, so, ooh, 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 hello. Uh, jam something metal into it. Reroute the circuit by shorting out the something, six perception, or repair the circuit for circuitry. I like skill checks game and equipment checks too. Hang on, I can't even flip and remember. Uh, wait, what is my perception right now? My perception is level five, sadly, though I could boost it to six right now. Oh, go on, why not? Level 6 perception will help me out with the VATS accuracy anyway. There we go, level 6 perception. <laughs> Wasn't planning on doing that, but now we are lovely. Like, repair that, and now I can certainly reroute the circuitry by shorting out the something, something, something. Beautiful. You spot the problem and fix it without issue. So that should now be working. With that now working, that should now mean I can... I'm going to be hidden. And I'm getting out the biggest gun I've got because there's a queen and she's going to pop out of this area right here. All right. It's going to flipping happen. So that's now been fixed. And now activate that. Close that. Prepare for the queen. Queen. Okay. No queen yet, but... I don't believe it for one second. Now, based on the map that I saw, Eliza's map, it felt like you turn that on and then, yeah, the power follows the power line. So I don't need to trace the power lines because there might be more things I need to, like, press or switch or whatever. So now, has anything activated in this town? Doesn't feel like it, to be honest. But yeah, now we just follow power lines, making double sure at no point there's anything we need to to do to keep the power flowing. Actually, the map might tell me that. So yeah, go through the town, up to the docks, and then the docks start heading down towards the south. You'll cut through a forest, reach what's presumably Cranberry Island bog itself, crossing what's possibly a river? Possibly? Yeah, and then head down to something. A dam? No, it makes sense for there to be a dam on an island and then something at the very bottom. But it feels like the next thing I need to press is beyond Cranberry Island Bog, like on the very east of the island, kind of uh, southeast east right there. So fine, if I just follow the power lines, that should be fine. Well, wherever I'm going right now, I'm not the only person there. There's more here yet. And by the way, ooh, just a random rad rabbit there. Hang on. This isn't the way I need to go, but no rad rabbit. Wait, wait, rad rabbit, no! Oh, never mind. 
Yeah, there's something up here that's not actually on the, the air I'm supposed to be going to, is there? Yeah, there's something... Oh, well, there's a house over here at the bare minimum. Hang on. And hidden, hidden. No sign of trouble. Suspiciously placed dog house. Don't trust that for one bloody second. Oh, hello. Well, one, we've got something over here that I wasn't expecting, because this isn't the part of the map I think that... Oh, unless I've kind of... Unless I've skipped to the end, I was supposed to, like, follow the power over to... Like, here, and then loop it round to this final one that's there. I might have skipped ahead a little bit there. And it also looks like, I think, a bear and a devouring gulper are scrapping it out to the death over there. Which works for me. I will gladly let them just kind of wail on each other and then pick off the survivor. Oh, the gulper devourer is doing very poorly against a lower level bear. Dear, oh dear. Yeah, the bears do hit bloody hard when they get close, even though the gulpers are damn tanky. And the bear just wins, but it didn't do him much good because now I'm about to pick him off. Lovely. So this round here, if I had to put a guess in, is probably going to be where I have to come last. And there's probably going to be another button I have to push first. But maybe I can do all of them. Circuit breaker. Flip it. The breaker's not functional. Unsurprising, I have to do something else first. Right, so remember this is here. Come back to it later. Don't know what this is all... What is this even powering? I don't see logically what any of this does. Is it a massive water purification system? I'm genuinely not sure. Ah, but Eliza's journal. We've got more from whoever this Eliza is. Note from February 2077. Grandpa Pat was yelling in his sleep tonight. He's done it before, but this time it was so loud it woke me up. I saw mom head over to make sure he's okay. Glad she remembered her coat. It looks like it's freezing out there. I heard her talking to dad the other day about grandpa moving in with us soon. I don't think I want him to. Where's Grandpa Pat then if, to go and check on him, Eliza's mother had to put on a coat because it's so cold out there? Were they keeping him in, like... What if they weren't keeping him in, like, the doghouse or something? Where was he? Yeah, that's... And there's a cooking station outside. Right. Ooh, vegetable starch. Very welcome. Uh, yeah. Okay, there might be more to learn about this story yet. I mean, hopefully he just lives over the road rather than, like, in a doghouse. Ah, no, never mind over here. Actually, over here we've got a proper bed. Marvellous. Eliza Journal 2 as well. This time from March of 2077. Nathan was out by the outpipes again, over by Grandpa's. I was going to tell Mom, but he saw me looking out at him when he came back to the house and told me to go back to bed. He always looks angry now. If I tell her about it, he will only bully me more. Someone out there. Okay, so telling us the pipes are there, but I don't really see the significance of that. Now I can get myself a good few hours sleep right here, which is marvellous. Okay, seven hours later, I am well rested in a proper bed, albeit a bed completely exposed to the elements, but whatever. Because we need to head over to Cranberry Island Bog proper, which appears to be, yes, right here. And there's totally something here. Ah, Gulp Devourer. Fine, Gulper Devourer at level... Okay, so just matching my level. These guys are, yeah, a little bit on the nasty side. If I can get close enough without him seeing me to hit him with the Tesla rifle, that'd be fine. Oh, apparently I'm I'm almost close enough. I just want to be close enough to make sure I'm not, like, out of range in such a way as well actually damage the amount of damage I do. This will do. If I critical him right now, that should be... That was not enough at all. Right, okay. Right, heading into the bog. Still don't know where he is. We've both completely lost each other. So that's a bit on the concerning side. Just gently move forward here. This will be the big piece of equipment that needs to be the next one I push some buttons on the front of. I'm guessing. And then we've got... Okay, there's a gold devourer over there. I'm just going to start criticaling these guys. I think I just want them to be dead. Lovely. I think I saw another one somewhere around there. That's a level 4 rad stag doe. We probably don't need the gorse rifle for that. Now, admittedly, I'm not seeing a big obvious button to push here. Unless the big obvious button is there's other bits of equipment. Hang on, we need to search this place properly. There's actually a fair bit of stuff here. Ah, wait, I see what I'm looking for. I see something over there that looks more like it. Just need to make sure there's nothing else dangerous around here. I swear there's at least two gold devourers and I've only killed one. Well, we're definitely on the right track here. Eliza Journal 3 is right here as well. Dad and Stephen were yelling at each other when they came home from the morning chores. I don't know why, but I did hear Dad tell him if he doesn't keep the pumps running, it'll mean more than just the pipe shutting down. I wish Stephen would just do his chores. I hate it when they fight. 
So this was pre-war, so it couldn't mean they were worried about, like, Myalurks or whatever showing up, or Gulpers in this case. So in which case... Yeah, what were they scared of that would happen if the pump shut down? Also, can we just get this up and running? Brake is not functional. Breaker should be functional. Oh, it's another thing to fix first. So repair the wires with six copper, rewire it with five intelligence. I have five intelligence, or just kick it. No, rewire it with five intelligence, please. Lovely, you successfully rewired that. And now, flick it up. And the pumps are doing something. Anything woken up as a result? No? I think we're good. Are these numbered? Because I swear the one that was over by the docks was numbered. Oh, Eliza Journal number four. I'm glad I just stumbled across that right now. So now we're into May 2077. Got home from stacking boxes at the dock and saw the grandpa was sitting out in the porch yelling at the sky, saying things like they're going to take our farm. We've got to stop them from tampering with our reels and generators. The harvest is coming up. We knew something was wrong after grandma died when he started accusing Nathan of messing with the machines around the farm. Now he just complains about the government trying to shut us down. Okay, I'm going to follow this road down towards the very southeast of the island because I feel like that's where Eliza's map was trying to, to lead me. Plus the power lines, oh wait, the power lines divert over in this direction and presumably lead round to the area I've already been to. But I feel like, yeah, there's still a road here and this is, I think, the docks nearby to the Cranberry Island bog. If there was a dock down here, it's long since been destroyed. There's nothing here but rubble. In which case, I just need to follow the power lines round to the third and final, by the looks of it. Past, conveniently enough, a nice rad stag devolved legendary over there. If I can get close enough to get this shot in on it, that would be nice. Let's just loop around the back of it here. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. I'm not planning to murder you. And... Are you planning to... Oh, you're actually planning to attack me! Well, that's unusual. There you go. Just go for its legs if you can. Ouch! I don't think I've ever been attacked by one of these guys before, but I'm not enjoying the sensation. Luckily, this thing fires surprisingly fast when you're using VATS. Yeah, even though it should actually have to charge, it kind of doesn't bother. It just kind of works anyway. Right! I'm not sure I've ever been attacked by Radso before. I didn't even know they could do that. Marvellous. Ooh. Okay, this is intriguing. Well, kind of intriguing. Enraging, I've got problems with enraging, which is I don't really know if it even bloody works. So yes, this is the enraging handmade rifle. Of course, this is the weapon from Nuka World. But as far as I'm aware, I'm not sure you can buy ammo for it anywhere until you get to Nuka World. So uh, not necessarily that useful for me yet, at least. That might be the fifth journal entry. Yes, indeed. Eliza journal number five. Perfect. I wish grandma was still around. Our families didn't argue as much. And grandpa, well, I miss her too. Wait, hang on. What? That was really... That was an awkwardly constructed sentence there, Eliza. I'm not clear on your bloody meaning. Right, okay. Now, at this point, you should have power, right? Not functional. Right, I'm going to need to fix something first. This is number three. You should have power, mind. I just need to figure out... Yeah, there must be, like, another circuit board or something that needs to be fixed. Ah, here we are. A pipe that needs fixing first. Uh, so repair the pipe with five steel, bend it back into place with seven strength, or oh, bang on it. Right, uh, five steel. We need five steel to do that. Um, wait, hang on, wasn't there a... Yeah, there was a workbench somewhere else, but I need to go and find five steels worth of stuff. Right, grab a whole bunch of stuff here. I can't remember whether any of this stuff has steel. Steel's the one thing I don't bother keeping an eye on. Giddy up Buttercup does indeed contain five steel, so I can literally take apart one of Eliza's childhood's toys in order to get the steel I need. Perfect. Hopefully I don't actually have to break this down first at like a workbench or anything. That'd be kind of annoying. But yeah, I've definitely got enough steel on me now thanks to the Giddy Up Buttercup. So, repair that with five steel. Yes, indeed. Lovely. And that means I get the, uh, the spare screws and gears and whatever from the things I have broken down. Lovely. So that's now fixed. Crack that open. That should be the entire thing done. Okay, that's, that's everything activated. That's the final one, because now there's no more power going anywhere. Question is, what does all of that actually do? Okay, I'm going to head back to the centre, to the actual Cranbrow and Bog itself. I feel like there's got to be something there I must have just missed, because clearly that was a big central area, and I feel like I may have, yeah, overlooked something there. So let's have a little Luke's around here, and also, be careful, because there's still a bloody gulper I haven't killed somewhere in this area. 
Aha! Okay, the wire leads down to here, where there's a thing. Where are ah, all three lights? Okay, why am I concerned about this? Yeah, one, two, and three. So everything's activated, so I can now get in here. Fine, so there was a secret door in here I just missed when I was passing through. I don't trust this one bit. Okay, go over to... Actually, this is pretty powerful. This will do. And prepare for... Oh, flip! Actually, no, wait. I've got the gun with the, the thing on it. I've got the gun with the... Oh, it's all the guys! They all hit in here. This was their little shelter or whatever. Right, okay. Guys, I've got good news, which is I've got the gun that's got the splash damage on it. So this is all excellently good news. So we'll do the critical, and then, yeah, all of this will go straight over to... I'm about to die now, aren't I? And then... Oh! Are you dead? No, you're not dead! Oh, I'm almost... I'm almost dead, mind! Right. Critical! And then hopefully goes over it and finishes you off. One more. Oh, flip. This gun might have not been the best choice. Right, one, one more for you. Just don't need to bother with the critical, though. And the splash damage. I feel ill from weakness, unfortunately. Ooh. Right, I need to sort out that crippled everything, in fact. There we are. I'm now thirsty. That's all right. In fact, I'm actually already sick, so I may as well... Jet, buff out, stim pack, radex, uh, none of that. Okay, fine. I'm going to go and... Oh, flip. I'm extremely irradiated because I got attacked repeatedly by ghouls. That's annoying. Uh, hopefully there might be something better in here in terms of, like, bottle caps, greasy jacket and jeans. Ooh, damage. Oh, damaged hazmat suit. Right, you see that? There was your problem. As well as, ooh, cranberry island shed key. And a cranberry island supplies note. Nathan, remember to move all the supplies from the shed on the east dock to the storage room here in the bunker. Aside from the generators being in full working order, those supplies are our most important asset. And don't make your brother do it. This is your job, Dad. P.S. The key is in the footlocker near the bunker entrance. Footlocker near the bunker entrance, but I've already got that, so that's fine. Okay, so the note says something about the shed on the east dock. Now, the east dock is, well, technically the east is in this direction, when I would have thought, like, the only other buildings I saw were in the in the north. Yeah, there's a bunch of buildings over there, but those are, like, more in the northwest of the island, so that can't be it. So, the east dock, like, I went in that direction, I followed the road down. Oh! Okay, so that suddenly appeared as a marker on my map, which I think previously it wasn't there, and I swear there wasn't anything there. I came down here and it was... Ah! Maybe it was here all along, I just didn't know it was there. But be careful, because apparently there's something else here. Oh, there's blood rage. Bloody Myalux, I hate blood rage. Bloody Myalux. Right, you're just going down to a flipping gorse rifle shot, assuming there's... Oh, it's a bit worse than I was expecting, actually. Right, never mind. So, uh, maybe you can just go down first to a nice critical. Yep, lovely. You can definitely die, because you can go invisible and do all sorts of other annoying things. And let's get my criticals back for a second. Hello, Blood Rage Myalurk. Would you, now you're nice and close, like to go down to a couple of shots to the torso? I bet you would. There you go. And number two. Lovely. Right, Deep King. Don't need to worry about that. Down to very, very small amounts of ammo. <laughs> That's the that's just a little island over there. Deep King, don't worry about him. There's not going to be anything good on his corpse, to be honest. He wasn't a legendary, but let's just double check him. Oh, he's just chilling out next to this here dolphin. I will get the meat at least. Lovely. And yeah, there were supplies. I can crack this open like this. And he said there were supplies in here. Oh! Oh ho 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 ho! Oh my! Oh very my! Oh, all of the supplies in the world, my. Oh, yes. Oh, this is lovely. Look at all of this. This is all very well organized. Nice. I'll take three frag grenades. And no, don't, don't upset the cork. Which of these do I actually need? Don't need duct tape. Springs, I can find one. Screws! Screws! I don't think I've ever actually seen a screw. Apparently, like, screws are kept in a single box. There is a single screw in that box. That is the screw box, and someone's written screw on the side. They've individually packaged their screws, which is the most interesting thing in the world to have done. Yes. There's aluminium and cloth and gears. I feel like I've got plenty of that other stuff. It's mainly just screws I've been a little bit shy on. I'll take a bit of acid. I think that's light. Bags of cement, that's very, very heavy, mind. 
And then we've got, yeah, antiseptic, cork. I think I'm always a little bit short on cork, to be honest. It's one of the things. Actually, if there's some, um, if there happens to be, oh, is that fiberglass? That's fiberglass. Nice. Now I can actually see what all these things look like when they're dropped, because uh, some of these things I did not know. Right, more cork. I'll take that. Apparently, each cork is three corks, whatever. Oh, there's more screws. I'm so happy about the screws. I have been so screwed for screws recently, and now the screw situation is under control. Right, well, I don't need all of this, but I will gladly take at least some of it. That is very, very welcome indeed. Oh, that's just lovely. Beautiful, in fact. So that feels like all of the secrets of Cranberry Island taken care of, but there's one thing I swear I'd heard about... Yeah, to the south of Huntress Island, I think I haven't come across yet, which is... I heard there was like, um, there was a love letter that I didn't find last time. Someone mentioned it in the comments of no guns, in fact, but I never found this thing. That somewhere to the south of this island, there was a, yeah, there was a love letter thing I could pick up from a corpse. Ah, wait, hang on. We've got someone right here. This is perfect. So this is on the bit near to... Uh, yeah, the... this is the room with the, the mannequin. Yeah, the terrifying mannequin. Just outside the terrifying mannequin room, there's a bench here, and a bloke, and a love letter to Bridget. Yes, here we go. I wish you were here to share this beautiful morning with me. I look forward to the day we are together once again. I will never forget you, Bridget. Okay, I'm not sure if that actually goes anywhere or anything. It does kind of feel like... Potentially, I'll never forget you, Bridget. Can't wait till we're joined again. Kind of feels like Bridget might have died rather than anything else. So, potentially a little bit sad there. Do you have eyeballs, by the way? No, it's just a odd little quirk of the way the glasses on your skull works. Fine, I thought that skull had eyeballs, which would be rather unusual. In that case, there's just one more thing, which is the third island. The one which originally I thought didn't look like it had much on it. But equally, Cranberry Island's bogs had a flipping ton of stuff on it. So now... I just want to double... Wait, what the heck is that? What is that? Hello? What are you? Are you a... Oh, that's just some random stuff. Fine, that's just some, like, seaweed or whatever. Fine, I just want to quickly check this third island, because all of a sudden, these islands down here have been really rather fascinating. So I just want to check if there might be something on this island over here. Just make sure I'm not... Oh, something alive, at least. Something lives on this island. So I want to double check there's no buildings or anything interesting to scavenge before we kind of completely write it off. I'm on the right island, right? Yes, I am. I'm most certainly on the right island. I just want to double check, given they all look a little bit on the similar side. Well, there's a path here, if not a road. There's something up here. Is that a... Oh, 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 oh. Pale frog crawler. Okay, okay yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, I see you there. I see you there. I don't have a critical, actually, which is, which is bad news, but... There you go, now you're dead. Whew. Okay, well that was useful. Right, so there was just a pale fog crawler in the middle of a campsite here, and... Oh, hello. What have you murdered? Oh, just scrounging trappers. You were sadly not a named character or anything. And there's at least something else here as well. I'm seeing a house over at the end there, and something else is making the brackets just shuffle ever so slightly. Oh my goodness, it's a water pump. Oh, blessed be the water pump. Flipping purified water for days. Yes. Oh, we need more of those just hanging around. Question is, what else is here? Because something else is here, and I don't trust whatever the other thing is, because it's quite close to me. Hello? Where are you? Come on, show yourself. No sign of it, but weirdly, there's a sleeping bag out here in the backyard, right behind this house here. Okay, well that's interesting at least. Uh, anything else to indicate who might have been using that sleeping bag or why? Not that I can see. One safe under the no bed, way. but yes. no way I can crack that open, unfortunately. In which case, this is probably an excellent opportunity for me to do some antibiotics. Because I need to because I am sick. I've got some on me, I'm sure. And yeah, if I do those and then drink up afterwards, that will solve all of my water problems, which is nice, because if I go back to a base, yeah, like, when I say base, around here the only base really is the Children of Atom hideout, and that doesn't have a source of good drinking water. I don't think it does, anyway. It's got, like, good beds. Now, I know those are in the command centre, for example, but it doesn't have much else. So, bare minimum, we're now under control in that regard. I'll be I'm still more than a little bit worried about the rads thanks to the attack earlier. In which case, I'd say probably the most sensible thing I can do right now 
is get underwater as soon as I'm free of this here boat and simply actually swim back to the Children of Atom because I'd say just look at my yeah, hit points versus rads. I'd say we could definitely do with a bit of a rad scrub. And potentially, I might have to actually spend some flipping money on ammo too. So while I'm literally passing by the Vim factory, hang on, hang on, hang on. I can I can literally see, I can see a suicider up there, damn it. But I can't get into a position where I'm on, or I might be able to from here. Hang on, 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 hang on. Where's the suicider? Suicider, suicide, damn it all. <laughs> Oh, I could, if I could just get side of that suicider, I could have just shot out his arm. That would have been hilarious. But sadly, I don't think that's going to fly for now. Fine. We'll come back for you later, damn it. And if we can, I think I see a legendary angler right ahead of me that goes down nice and easy. Yes, indeed. Let's see if we can just complete the set for like an entire episode with loads of legendaries that are all utterly terrible. And it is Cavalier Metal Right Arm. That's pretty dreadful. Yes. Dear, oh dear. Nope, won't be using that. Yeah, that's pretty much a clean sweep of terrible things. Marvellous. So, Rad Scrub. Heal up plenty of everything I need. And in fact, right here, of course, some very lovely beds. Because apparently I've got the entire command sense to myself because everyone else just likes sleeping on crappy, filthy mattresses in there. But no, I get a lovely bed all to myself. Marvellous. This will leave me in much better shape. All right, ladies and gentlemen, as that took a little bit longer than I was expecting, I'm actually going to call it a part there. Yeah, you were all right in the comments. There's some really fun stuff over on the Cranberry Island area. That was very, very good indeed. And wait, you're dead. Oh, I just missed you last time. Sorry, I think I just ran straight past you. My mistake. Very sorry about that indeed. So next time we will head to the Vim Pop Factory. Now we're in much better shape. We need to clear that place out. Again, I'm told I missed some stuff there and no guns. That if you dig around in there properly... There's actually a really fun little easter egg buried away in one of the rooms. So I will definitely be digging around thoroughly and seeing if I can find all the secrets in there. But in the meantime, ladies and gentlemen, I've been John. This has been many a true dad. This has been Fallout 4 Survival Mode. Thank you very much and goodbye. Get back here, you- Oi! Where'd you- Ah, oh, flip! Speeders can't go too far off the ground. You! Die! Die! There you go, you- Get, take out the tanks. I'm probably doing more damage to Moss Eisley than they are at the moment. Get out of the sky. Get out of my bloody sky, you get. Now we can blow him up, right? Yes! Massive explosion.